Hello and welcome to Chastastic Gaming. I'm not Chastastic, I'm Lindsay. This is Chastastic. Yeah, it is indeed. What are you doing? Why are you doing that? I've taken over your channel. It's my channel now. Okay. It's... What did you know? It's Lindsay. It's Lindsay Gaming. It's not as fun. You do know, like, what's just happened there is I've just, like, sort of rolled in, like, Lindsay Gaming. <laughs> like, just literally... I'm not a game, you can't play me. <laughs> anyway, we're back to... Sorry, it's it's not my Sorry. show anymore. It's not my no, show anymore. No, that's fine. Just you take over my bloody channel. <laughs> no, it's, it's, it's your channel now. It's your show, apparently. So what are we playing? Part two of... Oh, no, was it part four? Because you've already done it without me on my channel. Oh, yeah, apparently... Yeah, I've, I've been playing it, like... It's technically it's part four, but second part with Lindsay. Yeah, part two with me. Lindsay. Now, if you could see the actual look of disgust that I just experienced there... <laughs> give you any look. I've got a look of glee on my face, I'll have you know. Look of glee. Glee that, and disgust are not the same. If that was a look of glee, that look of glee could kill a man. Anyway. <laughs> anyway, we are playing either.io or either.io, depending on your grammatical or pronunciation preferences. So, maybe click the next button, because this is where we left off. Okay. So, Lindsay, would you rather date a mermaid or date an angel? An angel, because then they could fly. If you date a mermaid, you're never going to be able to spend any time with them, because they're going to be underwater. Can you breathe underwater? Because I can't. Well, let's Can see. you swim like a fish? I can swim pretty well, but I can't swim like a fish. However, the big question is, do you believe you can fly? Do you believe you can touch the sky? I really want to watch Space Jam now. <laughs> I love Space Jam so much. It's just so good. But do you think about it every night and day? <laughs> Don't quote R. Kelly to me. I'm having a Space Jam moment. Space Jam moment. Uh, Space but, Jam. But like, Dating Angel. Dating Angel? Like, what about Angel from Buffy? I would date an angel. An angel. Like, an... Like specifically. Um, well, I'm not commenting on that question. So that's a yes. So she's picking Angel because she <laughs> likes that guy for Buffy. <laughs> All right, cool. At least I know what would you? What would you pick then? An angel. Come on. I can't breathe underwater. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah. Okay. Thought that would be the case. Really? Yeah. I didn't think it would be so like black and white. Would you rather participate in the Olympic? Uh, if you were to p participate in the Olympics, sorry. Would you rather be Demi, in the we have a bobsled team. team. <laughs> Do you know what I was thinking? That's how old? No, but the luge. You know the one where you go down, basically do the bobsled thing, but you go head first on the fucking shopping trolley. It's not a shopping that trolley. It's like a fucking kitchen like a basket. tray. Hmm? Like a basket. It's like the wee small um, bodyboard. And you go down like the bobsled thing? Nope. Oh, that'd be awesome. Like, don't get me wrong. See, I'd rather be in the Winter Olympics, but I don't think Same. I could play any winter sports. Oh no! Like I can't ski, I can't snowboard, mm -hmm. I don't like fast things, apart from when I'm driving. But what other winter sports are there? Have you ever tried any of them? Like curling. I could curl. Incidentally. Oh no, I can't ice skate, no I can't. I like a little bit of a tidbit. Is Did bit. the town that I the town I grew up in, Cove South, was apparently apparently the place curling was uh, curling was invented. They even have their own curling pond, despite the fact that it's never cold enough for it to be frozen over. But it is actually only like l like less than like thirty seconds centimeters deep. Uh, but no, I I think the Winter Olympics are far more interesting. Like mm. you can like it says participate. You don't have to be good at it. Yeah, but I'm thinking like what I would rather do. Like what summer Olympic sports are there? Okay, you've got like the javelin. Like running. Oh, it's summer. Hmm? Summer. For what? what the javelin. Sport? Javelin? So you would like, your moment in the spotlight consisted of, consists of like 10 seconds of you running and, and like half a second of you throwing something. Yeah. Well, it'd be better, it'd be better than the shot, but because then people would just be like hearing me like groan as I throw stuff at people. 
You know, have you seen them? They actually like spin in a circle and it's like more aggressive tennis noises. Like when they hit the ball, it's like mm. I'm not I'm not gonna make those noises on <laughs> this, but I'm not I think gonna you make, know what I mean. I'm not gonna make those noises unless you buy me dinner first. <laughs> exactly, pretty much. And not for the general public to listen to. Exactly, no, I think I can get behind that. However, I have to say the Winter Olympics because there's just... Well, it's my channel, so I pick the summer one. <laughs> okay, anyway, well, you pick that, but I pick the Winter Olympics because I think there's far more interesting ways to die. That's not the question. It's like fall down the, fall down a cliff, smack your face off get the Get speared by a javelin. Why would that happen? Like because you're not very good. <laughs> <laughs> Why well, you, you say like it kind of like a boomerangs back onto someone, or like or actually you're too good and you hit the audience at the other side. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. It's a little bit morbid, but well, since it's your channel now, apparently we'll collect the Summer Olympics. But I'm picking the winter. Yeah, I won. Okay, you win. Like the. The Winter Olympics, as far as I'm concerned, is far more interesting. Now you need to buy me dinner. <laughs> to buy you dinner? Quite happily. For the noises. <laughs> oh, right, sorry. <laughs> I was misunderstanding the question there. Um, or, sorry, the statement. So, would you rather eat only chewed up food from out of a toothless er elderly person's mouth? <laughs> Or eat only chewed up food from out of a young chain smoker's mouth. Oh, good God. Oh my God, it's sick. How do you... How do you choose? Yeah. That's just... Oh. But the thing is, is like... Can I pick... Well, no, because you're not old and you're not a chain smoker. However, like, I've got like... I've got a counter of this, like... For the first little while, that would be really, really gross regardless to which one you pick. However, see after after a week you'd be over the taboo. Well the early, a early month, person would die quicker. But it doesn't specify it's the same person. Oh, that's even worse. Because I'm left thinking that maybe what's going on there is maybe like like I'm saying, you will pick you will for a week it's weird. After it's not a, a week, month. though. No, 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 no. It says, says like only, only spe specifically for the rest of your life, right? For a week, it's weird. For a month, you're used to it, and then after that, it's just that's well, the it's thing. just why I do. I just eat food out of this chain smoker's mouth now. But for that, for that reason, I'm gonna say the blue one, just because it's the first one. Because I think either way, you get used to it. It's horrible either way. And I don't smoke as well. I don't want that nicotine. Ain't got time for that. I can't make a decision on this one. You've got to pick one. No, I don't. By the way, I'm like I can't make a decision either, that's why I'm picking the first one. I'm just gonna say that. Well, I'll pick a, the second one then to be controversial. It's contrary is the word you're looking for. And I'm Pretty right. split. Pretty split, but I'll win. Would you rather have to wash your hands every 10 minutes or only wash your hands once a month? 10 minutes. Every 10 minutes. Does that I know what I do with my hands. Does that include when you're sleeping though? Do you have to wake up every 10 minutes to wash your hands? Nah. Okay. If that's the rule, cool. We'll go blue. You go blue? Think of how much work you wouldn't have to do. It's like, sorry when you wash my hands. You need, like, a you need to come to this note. meeting. No, sorry, I need to wash my hands. Imagine, mm. imagine you work in a call centre and you're just like, it's just like, I would, I would like a refund in this. Sorry, sir, I've got to go wash my hands. <laughs> so 66% agree. Would you rather, oh god, kill five innocent children yourself if it, yourself if. Can you just read that, Lindsay, for us? <laughs> Kill five innocent children yourself if it would end all bloodshed in the Middle East for 25 years. Have ongoing wars, terrorism, and fighting in the Middle East. I'm Probably, just... to be honest, I'd rather have the red one because that's the blue one's only temporary. The thing about it, though, is the red one is nothing's on your hands. That's not your fault. 
Yeah. That's ultimately what it is. It's like, now, who's to say that in 25 years that we haven't advanced in such a way that it's just like, boom, every sing- the entire country's gone? Like, who's to say in 25 years, if those kids had survived, that they wouldn't put an end to it? That's good, guys. That's a good point. It's like, revolution is like a really, really strange thing. And it just takes like a little bit. Of, like, it, ultimately, like, good things start with one person and that's that's the way it works though and also yes that may like if you know it's only gonna last for 25 years if you know going in that's only gonna last for 25 years it's not gonna and you know it's gonna like go back to shit in 25 years time you're not really resolving anything yeah it's not it's a thing just delaying it it's, it's a delay, it's not a final resolution, whereas allowing it to continue until we can find a natural resolution, which would be more... It's kind of like... Anyway. Red. Oh. Apparently, 60% of the internet would like to kill children. Don't know how I feel about that. Would you rather be able to fly or be able to believe? Oh my god, this goes back to believe Angel. underwater. Believe underwater. Can you believe underwater? It's a thing. No. Um, no. This. This. This is like. Can you have your relationship with Angel from Buffy or uh, Angels? Angels or I'm loving angels instead. No. I like that song. I don't care I what don't. you have to say. Never serenade me with that song. I've- I don't serenade you in general, so I don't get what that I means. know! <laughs> Maybe one day I'll pick up my guitar and go, Oh, yeah. Do you have the time to listen to me, Wayne? Listen. All you do is whine. Uh, but no, would you rather be able to hang out with angels or hang out with Ariel? with you tonight? Hmm. Hmm. Ha. Uh, ha. Uh. Well, I like swimming. I could do so much more swimming if I didn't have to go up to breathe. Hmm? But I never really find myself in that situation. No, but like... Like, you... getting to work would be so much easier if I could fly. Mm-hmm. Oh, no, I can get behind that. Like... Oh, if I could fly, I wouldn't have to walk everywhere. But we have to def- we have to define, like, how... How tired you get? Like, is it a case like, do you know how when you swim? It's flying like, you know, like swimming, but in an air. So we have to define that because if you can like fly like without any effort, then I'd pick flying. But if I can breathe underwater, but swimming is still effort, I'd rather fly as well. Well, no, if breathing, if you can breathe underwater and it's still the same. Well, it wouldn't it wouldn't be the same because you get so out of breath because you can't breathe underwater. No, but that's like, part of the reason you get so tired. But imagine, like, imagine you were like, imagine you had to move, but like your legs were like contr- constrained together. That's what like water pressure does to you. That's why it's so much. That's why swimming is such so good for you in terms of like, in terms of exercise. So like, if you fly like going like up, up and away, I'm not moving at all, but I'm willing myself to move. Like just. I want to fly, so therefore I fly. Is that a case of when you're underwater, I want to swim, therefore I swim? Or do you have to actively move your legs, therefore effort? Well, it doesn't say that you can swim, it just says you can breathe. So I'd say fly. Breathing underwater is shite unless you can actually move. Because you'll get tired, like you'll get tired, like physically tired. Like forget it, you can swim. I'm gonna pick underwater. I'm picking flying. I lose. You lose. I will pick one more question for the sake of this episode. Would you rather eat fast food burgers every night or eat Chinese takeout burgers? I just blew up my microphone, but burgers. You what, sorry? I just blew up my microphone, but burgers. In terms of clipped, not blew up. (laughs) Whatever. It went red. But, um. Well, veggie burgers. Yeah, of course. No, no, that's that's implied. Like, um, whatever kind of burger you like, whether it be chicken burger or, or falafel. Or fish burger. Some people like. By the way, that's a lot more popular than like a lot of people think. A fillet of fish in McDonald's is a lot more bought than 
Are they over a fillet? Fillet de fish. Fillet of fish. Um, so. Just, burgers. I like Chinese food, but it's so greasy. Where are you wrong? Hmm. Um, like Chinese it. food is just so greasy, I could eat it like. I'm just gonna address the uh, elephant in the room. I just don't like like Chinese food. I'm not, I'm not massive on it. I like Chinese food, but like if you make Chinese food yourself or go to like a nice restaurant, then it's kind of healthy for you. But if you just get Chinese takeout, it's filled with grease and preservatives, and it's just really bad for you. We've you got, would balloon. Yeah. However, the, the thing is, we've got that problem of like Western or sorry, not even Western is the word I'm looking for. British sort of stereotypes of of like. Chinese takeouts. It's like it's completely different from like authentic takeout. Like even I wish there was nice... more Spanish takeout. Hmm? I wish there was more Spanish takeout. Spanish takeout is not even a thing up here, is it? Or, or do you know one? No. Or Japanese takeout. There's one. But sushi. Unfo- <laughs> sushi. You think this is about sushi? Uh, avocado maki is my favourite thing. The thing is, is what's really annoying is, um, I'm saying this more for the audience than you because obviously you know the answer to this, is there is actually a place not far from where we are that does uh, Japanese takeout. In fact, there's two. There's one, in Gla- there's one in Glasgow and there's one on the other side in Falkirk. Unfortunately, neither of them will actually deliver out as far as us or at least without it being more than, uh, costing more for delivery than our order. So, it, Japanese takeout does exist. It's just not practical. Yeah, I just wish there was more of it. Exactly, that's, that's the best way to put it. Um, but on that note, on that very hungry note, I think I'm going to need to go get something to eat. So we're going to have to end this episode, but this has been... Uh, uh, don't you tell me when we're going to end the episode. I'll I'm, tell you when we're going to end the episode. I'm sorry, it's not my... It's, it's so on that channel. note, we're going to end this and I'm probably going to make Chaz something to eat because I'm nice that way. <laughs> so I have not been Chaz Tastic, I've been Lindsay. And I've been Chaz Tastic at Chaz Tastic Gaming. You have, oh, sorry, Lindsay Gaming. <laughs> and you have a fantastic day. Bye. Bye.